So now that you've finished your workout, I know you're really tired, but we should take a few minutes to cool down. This video has both upper body and lower body cool down, and think of it as a menu. Pick what you need. If you just did upper or lower body, fast forward to that portion of the video. Otherwise, you can follow along and do this for a great total body cool down or total body stretch even if you didn't work out. So we are going to start lying on the floor, hugging our legs into the chest and just taking some nice good inhales and exhales. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let your heart rate start to come down and really relax. Then just make some small circles with your lower back. So here we're going to go through all of the lower body cool down exercises. So making small circles with your back, maybe five times in one direction and five times in the other. Then hug your right leg into your chest and put your left leg on the floor in front of you. Bring your right leg all the way to your left side by rolling your hips, stacking one on top of the other, and then bringing your arms out into a T, or if you don't have room, you can bend them at the elbow, and looking away from that bent right leg towards the right side of your body. Relax here, relax your knees. Try to get both of the knees touching the floor. Relax your groin and stomach. Relax your chest, open your shoulders, and try to imagine both of your shoulders are touching the floor. It might not happen today, but someday it will. And just let your body sink into the floor. Imagine I'm pressing on your right knee and your right shoulder, getting this cross body pull and then roll back to the middle. And now we're gonna take the left leg into our chest and the right leg out in front of us and bring that left leg all the way across to the right side of the body. If you get back cracking, this might actually crack your back. My hips are stacked here, my arms are out in a T or bent at the elbow if there's no room and I'm looking away from that bent knee. Again, relax, relax your knees, let them be heavy, relax your groin, relax your stomach, open your chest and shoulders and let both of the shoulders come towards the floor. And notice, is your tongue on the roof of your mouth? Relax, let it fall to the bottom. And then come to the middle. And now we're gonna figure four, our left ankle over our right knee. Grab onto the right thigh and give it a good hug into your chest. Now take that left hand and place it on the left knee and press into your left knee as you pull on the right thigh to get a push and a pull and a big stretch on the outer left hip. Now release, and we're gonna do that on the other side. Right leg over left thigh, pull on the left thigh, pull it into the chest, and then press the right hand into the right knee and push and pull at the same time, keeping your lower back on the floor while you do this and getting a big stretch on the right outer hip. And release. Now we're gonna do a little hamstring stretch. If you have a resistance band or strap, you might wanna have that handy. We're going to interlace our hands behind our left thigh and then bend the knee into the chest and straighten it out, pressing your heel towards the ceiling, toes flex towards the face, and the back of the knee is open. Here, the most important thing is that the leg is straight. So if you can't keep the leg straight with your hands around it, if your leg's too far away, take that strap or yoga, yoga strap or a resistance band, and even if it's stretchy, it's okay. Your leg will be able to have the distance it needs to be straight. And then we're gonna bend the knee again and straighten it back out, really opening the back of the knee. And one more time, knee in and straighten it out, getting a big stretch on the back of the leg. So now we'll do it on the other side. Interlace your hands behind the right thigh, straighten the leg out, pressing your heel into the ceiling, toes towards your face, back of the knee is open. And then relax it and again, straighten the leg out, reach that heel towards the ceiling. And one more time, knee comes in and reach the knee towards the ceiling again. Now we have one more stretch on our back. I want you to take your left leg and cross it over your right really high in your groin like you have to pee. Now pull those legs into your chest and grab both knees and give them a good hug. Hopefully your left thigh will be touching your stomach. 
Now pull in and then work your way down to try and grab your ankles. And as you pull your legs in, pull the ankles apart, you'll get a big stretch on the left thigh here, or the left hip, the leg that's closer to your chest. And then relax, and we're gonna take it on the other side. Right leg on top, really high cross of those legs. Grab onto the knees and pull them into your chest. You might feel tightness in your groin and try to relax that area if it's pinchy or hurting. And now we're gonna work our way down to our ankles again and pull those legs into the chest as you pull your ankles away from each other. And relax. Now we're going to sit up and take that stretch up a notch. So if you have your yoga block, I want you to sit on it. And come up. Actually, I'm going to show from the front. I think this will be most informative. And you're going to sit with your legs out in front of you. Take your right hand, reach under, grab your left ankle, and then pull the leg so the knee comes to the floor. Then take your right leg and stack it on top. And here my knees are stacked on top of each other and my butt is on that yoga block. You could use a cushion or just something that can elevate your hips a little bit. Or if you're flexible, you might be able to do this on the floor. From here, I want you to walk your hands out in front of you. Keep those fingers in a tented position so that way you can press on them to keep your hips on the floor as you walk your hands out. And keep going and keep going until your chest comes to your legs and then you can release over those legs and hang out here for as long as you need. Letting your hips relax. Maybe as time goes on, you're able to get a little closer and closer to the floor and you're going to feel a big stretch in the hip of the leg that's on top. So when you're ready, walk yourself back up to seated position and use your hands to unwind your legs. And I'm gonna now show you from the side for the second side. So we wanna cross our legs the opposite way. So now I'm gonna grab my right ankle with my left hand and bring the knee to the floor and then have my left thigh on top. And make sure those hips are nice and securely on the block. And then again, walk my hands out in front of me. Try to keep your back nice and long, as long as you can. And keep those hips down. And we work our hands all the way until our chest and thighs meet. And then relax over the legs. You can bring your elbows to the floor if you need to. And hang out here as long as you feel like it. Again, getting a big stretch on the top hip here. and then walk your hands back up. Now we're gonna do a stretch called the couch stretch. So if you're at home, I encourage you to use your couch. But if you're at the gym, you can use a bench and you can actually even use a wall. What you're going to do is if you are using your couch or a bench, you're going to stand up and put the top of your foot on the box. Then you're going to lower yourself down and bring your knee to the floor Use a cushion or something underneath here if you have sensitive knees. And you're going to press up and tuck your pelvis under. If you have a wall, what you'll do is you'll have your toe, foot just flat up against that wall. And then make sure that you tuck your pelvis under, stand up nice and tall, and you're gonna feel a big release on the front of this quad. If you did a lot of squatting today, this is gonna feel great and you're gonna hold this for 30, 60, 90 seconds per side. I'm not gonna do it with you here for the whole time, but you can just pause the video, do your stretching, and then bring your hands to the floor when you're done and work your way out and take it on the other side as well. To start your upper body stretches, you wanna take two yoga blocks and stack them with one slightly higher than the other and you're going to lay down so that way where your bra strap would be would be at the bottom of the lower block. You're then going to lay down, get that yoga block, it's really your upper back, you do not want this in your lower back, and then the other block is supporting your head, and I come palms facing up, and I just lay here and relax, hanging out, opening my chest, starting to calm down. This is a great thing to do after you've been sitting at your desk all day as well. You definitely can do it with books as well, or you could actually use a foam roller, having it going from head to tail even, having your hips up. That'll be much 
just a big, big chest opener there. And you can lay here for three to five minutes if you want. It's a great place to be. As you relax, you might feel like your head's a little high and then you can lower it down, get an even bigger chest open. And then you'll roll off those blocks. So I'm not gonna do it here with you in real time, but lay on those blocks as long as you want. Then we're going to take a foam roller if you have it. Put it going the long way here, and you're gonna lay back with it in your upper spine. So right below the tops of your shoulders. Interlace your hands behind your head to support your head. Your knees are bent and you're going to relax over that foam roller and lower your head to the towards the ground. It doesn't need to touch. And your hands are supporting the head here so your neck's not just getting completely extended. And you're gonna go three to five times in this one spot. Then roll back a little bit and get just below the shoulder blades and roll again three to five times. Really articulating your spine over that foam roller and getting a big spinal extension stretch. And one more time, roll back just a tiny bit. You only want to come as low as your ribs. You really don't want to get below the ribs here. And then go back over the foam roller. This is going to be the biggest stretch. Take your time at the bottom of each one. You can go even slower than I am. And relax. So now you can come off that foam roller, get it out of the way. And if you have a resistance band or even a t-shirt that you're not wearing, you might want it. We are going to do a little sh standing shoulder stretch. So I'm gonna take my strap or t-shirt or whatever it is in my right hand, reach the right arm up, bend at the elbow and sweep the left arm back so I can grab onto that as an extension of my hand and walk my hands together. Now maybe you have a good range of motion, which I actually do, and you can meet those hands together. But then once you do, you wanna make sure that that elbow is going straight up, the other elbow is going down, and the ribs are going down, and you're standing nice and tall, holding this position, getting a big stretch of your tricep and shoulder on the up arm, and that arm that's down, the shoulder goes back and the elbow goes forward, ribs go down. And we're gonna hold this for maybe 30 seconds on each side. Then you'll unlace the arms and you'll do it on the other. Taking the strap in the left hand, bending the arm, sweeping under and walking those hands together. And you might notice one side has a way better range of motion than the other, and this is totally normal. So really use that strap if you need it. Even if you didn't need it on one side, you might need it on the other. Ribs go down, standing tall, shoulder on the down arm is back, elbow is forward. Again, ribs are going down. Top elbow is going up, and you are just gonna stand here for about 30 seconds as well. Now unlace those arms. We are going to come to all fours. From here, you can do a few cat cows. Start by untucking your toes and dropping your belly to the floor, looking up at the ceiling. Let your shoulders relax. Your elbows are holding you up like scaffolding and your lower back is relaxed. Now send your spine to the ceiling, tucking your pelvis under, pressing into the hands to spread the shoulder blades apart and release all tension in your back of your neck. Don't use any effort to hold that neck up. And then drop the belly again towards the floor. Look up at the ceiling, shoulders fall down your back. And one more time, press into the floor, tuck your pelvis under, let your head fall and completely spread the shoulder blades apart. Then come to a flat back and take your right arm and reach it up towards the ceiling, opening your chest and thread it underneath you. Come to your right shoulder and the side of your head. Then walk that left arm out in front of you and relax here. Stay as long as you need to, just letting your upper body release into the floor. When you're ready, pull the left arm back Press up, come to all fours again, and take your left arm and reach up and thread it underneath you. Left shoulder and side of your head come to the floor, and that right arm walks out in front of you. Let yourself release to the floor again. Relax here, get a big stretch. And then pull the right hand back up. Come to all fours, bring your toes together, sit back, and walk your hands out to bring your forehead to the ground in child's pose. 
and lay here as long as you need. This is the end of your workout and your cool down. Great work.